today's topic is tautology implies what do you mean by tautology implies means a compound proportion is said to be a tautologically implies or simply a implies the compound proportion b two compound proportion we are taking a and b if it is true okay a implies b we can write it so it is called as a tautological implies for example p implies P this section to Q using a truth table. I will show you how it is implies. Okay, so for example, we know that it is P Q is a proportion. So P this section to Q. So P condition on P this section Q. So P Q means we know that it is nothing but true true. All the possibility to true, false, false, true, both are false. So, destruction what is our rule? Destruction is nothing but both are false, it is false. Remaining everything true, fill with true. Okay. Now, P condition on okay, P destruction to Q. So, what is the condition rule? When true, false, it is false. So, no, any true, false, it is available. No. So, everything true. So, it becomes, because the whole answer, it becomes, it is a tautology. True means it is nothing but it is a tautology. In a tautology, it is implies. So, implies means it is equal to. So, we are getting equal to answer. So, it is called as a Tautology implies. Okay. So, problem directly will go with the problem. Only one question. Through the following implication, they will mention implies. Okay. Then only we have to do it the correspondingly without using a truth table. That also will be mentioned. Without using a truth table, one question has been given. How we have to prove it means what you have to prove means we have to prove it is a true. So, the whole question you have to take it, you have to prove whether it is a true when we prove it, it is a tautologically implies. Okay, so we have to prove it is true. Okay, the whole answer I have to prove it is true. True, I have to prove. Then it is a tautologically implies. So, I am showing you now. First, a full question I will take it. So, full question as it is, I will write P is this section to negation P condition on Q implies uh, P destruction to negation P condition on R implies Q condition on R. The whole question implies this answer I should get in the left also then it is implies uh, but I have to prove both I have to tell it is a true. So, I will show you how we have to prove it. First step uh, we know that P okay this P, this section 2, negation P is nothing but true. Okay, so P, this section 2 negation, it is using complement law. So that I will first type, right? It is nothing but true. This also same thing true. N into implies. Q tending to R. Okay, it is a complementary law. Complement law. Using complement law, I have written. Next step. Okay, so in this condition, what is the condition means? Anything condition means what we write, it is equivalence property using condition. How we will write, it is equivalence property. Okay, already we have seen this, no? Okay, equivalence property in the previous video. So, what I have to write means is a negation T, this section to Q. 
I can write the first element should be negation, then this direction symbol. So if I write it, that only I'm going to write negation t, this direction to q implies same thing here also negation t, this section to this section to r. Okay, so close the bracket. So implies u tending to r. Okay. So now next step, what I am going to do? So we know that negation t. Okay, this is using equivalence. Negation t is nothing but it's a false statement. Opposite to a false statement. False statement. Okay, next step. Again, it is in the form of like this negation. Correct? So, how can I write it means it is nothing but Q tending to R. Okay. Because both are false statement. False statement I can remove Q condition on R. Okay. This is nothing but Q condition are both equal to its coming. But I have to prove true only. True how can I prove it means again it is a conditional. This again equivalence condition when I use it. Okay. So negation Q, this section to R implies negation Q, this section to R. I can write using equivalence. So now, okay. So now this is like a condition. So it is like a this full element is like uh, now when I write it like this. Okay. So this is A, this is B. It's like a condition. This is condition. Okay. So now negation of R. Okay. Same equivalence condition. So negation of any. Negation of A, this section to A is nothing but it is a true statement. Okay. So it is a A or B, it is a true statement. So it is true. Okay. Thank you.